It's the largest wooden office project in Europe to date. Wooden environments and nature helps feeling less pressure, sleeping better at night, really at the core of every decision that we take. I think that when people are fully aware of the benefits of wood in construction, it will develop in countries where people get a benefit from the visible wood. It will develop as well when people want to have light construction on existing structures. It may be not the full answer to every construction project, but I think that there is a bright future for construction made of timber. I'm here at Arboretum on the outskirts of Paris. This is one of Europe's largest developments built mostly from wood. We've come really to find out why use wood, uh, what the benefits and advantages of wood are over concrete and steel, the traditional building materials, and I guess why more architectural firms and developers are not using wood. Arboretum is a 126,000 square meter offices project. It's one of the largest uh, projects ever built using cross-laminated timber. The only parts of the buildings which are built in concrete are the parking areas and uh, the cores of the building. Everything else is built uh, using a cross-laminated timber, which has uh, the same structural uh, capabilities as concrete, but compared to concrete, it lowers uh, the carbon footprint of the building. A typical building uh, built uh, using concrete uh, will emit around uh, 1.2 tons uh, of CO2 per square meter, uh, whereas here at Arboretum we are at 673 kilograms of CO2 per uh, square meter. So as you can see, we divide by two uh, the carbon footprint of the building. We quantify the carbon emissions over the life cycle of the building, taking into account construction, 50 years uh, of operations and end of life of the building. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's stunning. It's like a multi-sensory experience and it really is, isn't it? It looks beautiful. It feels beautiful. Every time I have a visit, people <laughs> touch yeah. the wood. You would never do that with concrete, right? Never, never. <laughs> and it smells yeah. wonderful and yeah, yeah it's nice. beautiful. We've done some research uh, based on scientific papers on the effect of uh, wood and nature on your psychology. Providing people with wooden environments and nature helps feeling less pressure, sleeping better at night. Here you enter a part dedicated to, uh, to nature. It's uh, 3,000 uh, square meters in total. I don't think I'd get any work done if I worked here. <laughs> Actually, you would uh, you know, spend maybe 30 minutes yeah. uh, just uh, relaxing and enjoying uh, the sound of water and then being much more focused for your writing. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the mental health benefits of working in a wooden building. I presume that all this biodiversity has a similar positive effect. Lowering the carbon footprint of what we do is key for us. It's really uh, at the core or at, of every decision uh, that we take. We work as well on uh, making sure that all the environments that we create are very good for your health and your well-being. And we think that getting this connection to nature uh, is critical. I think not everyone uh, at home, especially in, in Paris, where it's, it's a very dense uh, urban uh, place, uh, not everyone has access in their homes to an exterior space. And so here we like to think that we can offer that to anyone uh, coming, uh, coming to work. It's one thing building a beautiful wooden development on a large brownfield site outside the city centre, but what about when you get into the packed, tight urban streets of a huge city like Paris? Well, it turns out you can do it there too, reap some of the same benefits and breathe life into an old building. Here we are in the 18th district of Paris, in a very, very dense urban area where we bought a property uh, which was built by the French Railways in the 70s. The challenge of this project was to do five additional levels on an existing structure without having to reinforce it. We decided to use a CLT, cross-laminated timber, as our main construction material. This is an interesting building. It used to belong to French Railway and the company is refurbing it and adding five extra floors to the existing structure. But because they've used wood, 
which is at 20% of the weight of those traditional materials, they haven't had to do any reinforcing at all. Not only does wood store a huge amount of carbon, it also reduces the amount of steel and concrete that you need to use, both of which consume vast amounts of energy. So this is a very, very green building. We did a life cycle analysis. The carbon footprint of this building is less than half of what it would have been had they refurbished with steel and concrete. Now the goal of this building really is to have as much wood on display as possible and we'll go inside and have a look at some of the cross laminated timber. It looks beautiful, it smells wonderful. We're inside the building now and as you can see there's a lot of wood around. If you look up to the top there that ceiling is cross laminated timber which is this amazing engineered wood product. That's actually the floor of the story above. Uh, they haven't put any false ceilings in and again that reduces the weight of the building and on the floor as well is cross laminated timber. So it looks amazing, it smells amazing, there's wood everywhere. I can imagine this being a really happy and healthy workplace. Wood is a fantastic solution when it's about doing construction on existing buildings, especially in dense areas. So having everything prefab in, in factories instead of uh, doing things on site, um, you reduce a lot of trucks in the city, so this uh, helps a lot the relationship with your neighborhood. Also, you can surprise the need of uh, reinforcement of the existing structures. And how much does it cost to refurb a building in the way that you're doing it compared to doing it the traditional way? Well, it depends if your metrics are about euros or CO2, my friend. Those new technologies with biosource materials, they are a little bit more expensive because they are new, people are not used to that. You have to pay a lot of attention to the details, you have to make a lot of efforts to, to make all these things possible. But you get a lot of benefits that even maybe were not uh, foreseen at the very beginning. Using biosource materials bring a lot of benefits in terms of CO2, but also in terms of economics of the project. The wood seems to have so many advantages as a building material. Why aren't more people building with wood? You no, know, it's something that has been growing in France. We've been leaders in that domain. The current uh, French regulations now impose uh, on developers to calculate the carbon footprint of what they're about to build and what they're about to develop um, and their thresholds uh, that you need to uh, comply with written in the law. It kind of pushes the whole industry to use uh, more wood and to use more biosourced materials because they have this negative carbon footprint compared to concrete. It works well, as you can see here. I mean, it's uh, 126,000 square meters built using that technique, so it shows that it's feasible. So I think, you know, it's, it has uh, great days uh, ahead. What's next is to, to make uh more common things which were a little bit exceptional in our projects. Uh, we have made a lot of research on the way to protect wood from fire. There are a lot of also uh, of questions about how to improve the way we put in place the wood during the construction. And finally, I would say um, the, the building regulation, the building codes uh, are very unprecise about the use of, of, of wood. And now we have to educate all the community of people who are involved in the construction business uh, to these norms, which are extremely precise and which are going to be updated next year with a very uh, significant amount of work done all across Europe to, to define the right way of designing uh, wood structures. I, I think that when people um, are going to, to be fully aware of the benefits of wood in construction. I think that there is a bright future for construction made of timber. <laughs> <sighs> Got a splinter now, Dave.